Hello, my name is James Mimna. I'm a Agus Dairy Advisor here in County Westmead and um, uh, today we're here at one of the calf care events. I'm here to look at the uh, calf feeding systems uh, board. We're going to first look at the proportion of, um, I suppose, ways farmers feed calves on farm, uh, be it uh, the most popular is teat feeders, so in a milk bar system or a, say a 10 teat feeder, uh, followed on by automatic feeding systems and then on to, to mobile feeders, uh, be it a trailed uh, mobile feeder on the back of a quad or whatever, uh, and buckets um, at 10% each. Um, in regard to feeding calves, um, uh, it's important to, uh, to, uh, to focus in on the 1-2-3 rule. So the first feed of colostrum uh, of, tr of 3 litres in the first two hours uh, of, of birth. Okay, um, so, uh, and it should be two to three feeds fed to the calf in the first 24 hours. Following this, we move on to tr transition milk up to five days, and then following this, then uh, on to either whole milk or milk replacer for the duration of the calf's um, uh, milk uh, diet. Uh, We'll go on then to, uh, I suppose, feeding between once a day and twice a day, um, the differences in terms of labour saving. So once we move calves onto, say, once a day from twice a day um, t towards the latter end of the, the milk feeding um, uh, duration of, of, the, of, their, of their life, um, we look at, I suppose, the labour saving is down from 36 seconds per calf down to 23 seconds per calf. There isn't any, um, a, a, I suppose, difference in terms of um, um, weight, I suppose, at 77 days old um, wh when we move from one, twice a day to, to once a day on, on trials conducted by Chagas. Uh, when we kept calves at twice a day, they would come in at 93.2 ki kilos, and when we moved them once a day, they were, down, they were up to 94.8 kilos, so not a significant difference whatsoever. Uh, in terms of automatic and manual feeding uh, of calves, we're looking at, I suppose, um, four aspects in terms of automatic, uh, in terms of um, aspects of, of, of calves. Um, feed preparation, feed inspection, cleaning, and then health uh, inspection of calves. So you can see, I suppose, the proportion in terms of manual feeding, a large proportion is spent on feed inspection, whilst uh, with automatic uh, feeding systems, the majority is spent uh, in terms of health inspection and cleaning, including pen and equipment. So that's a, a brief run through of calf feeding systems. Uh, thanks for watching.